In this video, I'm going to show you how you can design your own gaskets using Autodesk's Fusion 360 software. Now let's pretend that this Bendix carburetor is not a super common carburetor. In fact, for the sake of the video, this is a super rare carburetor and you cannot find parts for it online. Now there's a few ways you can go about doing this, whether you have the old gasket or not. All you really need is the mating surface and a dial caliper. The first thing you need to do is to get a picture of the surface that needs a gasket. Now if it's small, you can get away with just taking a picture with your phone. However, if it's a little bit larger, a more accurate way to do it would be to use a photocopier. Like I said, using a photo scanner is definitely the most accurate way to do it. However, if you do use your phone, just make sure that you take a picture as flat with the surface as possible. Once you have the photo of your surface, next thing you gotta do is upload that to Fusion 360 and we can get designing. All right, so once you're in Fusion 360, you're gonna go to Insert, Canvas, Insert from my computer, you're gonna find your file. Uh, it's gonna give you options to choose different um, planes and make sure that you're looking at it from the top click on that yellow square boom there it is now this is just a general photo this is not to scale at all so you, we need to open this drop down under canvases right click that photo click calibrate and this is where your dial calipers come into play so you're going to want to measure between two easily distinguishable parts on the surface i'm going to choose this hole and this hole And we have 2.045 inches. Real quick, if you're American and you use inches, you're gonna need to change your units because Fusion 360 comes set up using millimeters. To do this, you're gonna need to go to your account up here, go to preferences. Might take a second to pop up, but once it does, you're gonna go to default units, design, and you can change it from millimeters to inches, just like that. All right, so we're gonna go back to this photo. We're gonna calibrate this, and we went between these two lower bolt holes. You wanna be as close as you can. And it was 2.045 inches. You click enter, and you zoom out. And that is your new calibrated photo. Now I'm going to try my best to explain this as if you've never used this software before. Um, if you click this little hand, you can move it around or you can play with the zoom by like zooming in, moving the cursor down here, zoom out, zoom back in. It's kind of funky to play with at first, but you'll get used to it. So now that you've got your image calibrated, you're going to want to come up to the top left here, click create sketch. It's going to want you to select the plane again because there's a X, Y, Z. Just make sure you're looking at it from the top. Go ahead and click. Uh, center your image again. Now you're gonna want to use these tools up here. We're gonna start off with the circle. Let's mark out this Venturi. So now we're back at our carburetor with our dial calipers. We're gonna measure our Venturi. Let's go with... Blue 2.065. So we've got 2.065, and that is the size of our Venturi. You can just grab it by the dot in the middle, line it up the best you can, and you're good to go with your Venturi. And our bolt holes, you wanna you wanna make sure you go a little bit bigger than the bolt hole. Otherwise, the threads will thread with the gasket. So we're going to go 0.27. All right, same story. Circle, 0.27. Enter. Grab the dot. Line it up where it needs to be. Now, if you click on the circle and you press Control-C and then V, it will copy and paste it. You can drag that where it needs to be. Click enter, then do the same thing, control C, V, drag that one down here, enter, and you've got your bolt holes. Now this black abyss right here is actually the breather for the carburetor bowl, 
in the original gasket there was a hole somewhere around here but it doesn't line up with anything so we are actually just gonna make our gasket go around this entire inside edge and we're gonna do this by selecting this fit point spline tool right here we're gonna click see how there's a blue X that means it's joining with the other shapes you got going on click on that and we'll just go ahead and trace this doesn't have to be perfect, but strive for perfection over here. And you want to go back, see how it's got the blue X again, and boom, you can either click this check or press enter. And there you go. Now we don't really want to have too sharp of a point here on our gaskets, so we're going to go to create, arc, three point arc, and we're just going to select two points right here. We'll just put a little bit of a rounded edge on it. And we'll do the same thing over here. All right, so we finished the interior of our gasket. Now we need to do the exterior. Now, don't worry, it's a lot easier than you think. We're gonna use this offset tool. We're gonna select our Venturi, and I'm gonna make the face of the gasket 3 16ths of an inch, so 0.1875. And then we'll do the same for the bolt holes, except I'm gonna make those 1 8 And we can't forget about the breather hole for the bowl. Make that. This one needs to be negative 0.1875. There you go. Now, same story as before. We don't really want to have any sharp edges on our gasket. So we're going to round these off. Easy stuff. So once you're done rounding off all your edges, the final step of the sketch process is to trim all the unneeded lines. You see how it highlights it in purple? Just go ahead and delete all these. We do not need them. Don't forget about the little ones. Don't need you, don't need you, don't need you, don't need you. You guys get the point. So now you just double check, make sure you're not forgetting any lines that you might have forgotten to delete. And once you're sure you haven't, you can go over to Sketch Palette and click Finish Sketch. There you go. There is your sketch. We can get rid of the picture behind it. There's our gasket. Now we're going to use, under the Solid tab, we're going to do Extrude. We're going to select our gasket. And it doesn't really matter how much you, you bring it up by, but we'll just go 0 0.01. And there you go. You've got your physical, actual gasket. And now for the final and most important step, if you plan on using a Cricut cutter to cut this gasket out of gasket material, you're going to need to save it as an SVG file. And to do that, you've got to go to this Utilities tab. You're going to want to go to add-ins, go to the Fusion 360 app store, and download Shaper Origin. Once you've downloaded it, it'll pop up here. You click it. It'll give you this option to select the body that you want. Go ahead and do that. Then you click OK. And then it'll save as an SVG. Make sure you label your gasket file so that you can print new ones in the future if you ever need to. Bendix. Carb intake air filter gasket. There we go. Now you're ready to send that file over to Cricut and get to cutting.
I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you'd like to see how I set up my Cricut machine to cut the gasket material, you can go ahead and watch that video right here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more motorcycle related content.